Hello, I'm Cooper. This is my 2011 SAS Toyota Hilux. I've come up from Matruca, Victoria. How's it going, Cooper? Yeah, not too bad yourself. Good. What are we looking at? So this 2011 Toyota Hilux. It's uh, been got a solid axle out of an 80 series in the front end. Uh, it's just got the three liter 1KD in it. It's got a bit of uh, bit of power run through it. That's about it. When you bought it, was it completely standard? Yeah. So when I when I bought it, it had two inch lift 33s, just a stock tray on it. So everything that's done now, either some good mates have helped, and I've done most of it. Yeah, nice. Uh, what bull bar is this? Completely so this custom? Is, yeah, it's a full one-off custom tube bar. We do a lot of rock crawling, so the approach angle I really needed. So we had to cut all the intercooler piping, move it all back, so I could house the run of a winch in there to get a really good approach angle. Uh, so run of a winch? Yep. Run us through that real quick. Uh, so it's an EWBQ, so it's a high-speed winch. So it's a high-speed low-mount winch instead of going to a high mount. Got got good uh, line pull on it? Yeah, it's got a real fast line pull, especially this thing doesn't weigh much, so. So it's just like a like a comp truck sort of winch, it just briefs you back in? Yeah, it's real quick. Uh, and is this, is this body lifted at all? Nah, so just straight suspension and tyre lift. No body lift into that at all. Might as well uh, pop the bonnet. Oh, is this custom grill? Where'd you yeah, get this, Yeah, so this is custom grill by a name called Matty Flexi. He does all custom grills for all sorts of different four drives. Is he doing for Land Cruisers? Yes. You'll have to you send should have me to the, hit him up. Yeah, you'll have to send me the Facebook link or whatever. For sure. Alright, pop the bonnet mate. Before we get into the engine mate, what's the go with the front end on this? Uh, so, I had an incident a while back. Most of the panels got dinted up, doors smashed in, so what we decided to do, we decided to do a facelift. Yep. So change grill, headlights, bonnet, Guards and doors are all brand new. It's been freshly repainted. It's got a uh, bush wrap, so it's a self-healing wrap on it. Oh, the well. plastic film. Yep. yep. To keep the paint as best I can. What year model was 
was the front end off? 2015. And then what's the car again? 11. 2011. Yeah. So is there is there much difference between the two? Yeah. So there's a lot of there's a fair bit of difference. But the good thing about these is they all bolt up, so you don't have to change anything. And modification wise, they all just bolts. So it'd be this. like most Toyota cars anyway. Yeah. They, don't, they don't change much on the no, frame. No, not body. at all. <laughs> They're all the same. All right, now that we're in here, what are we looking at? What's this motor? So it's a 1KD 3 litre turbo diesel. Yep. Um, obviously, it's got the front mount from Psycho. It's got a custom airbox and four inch stainless snorkel. Yep. It's got plus 30 caps in the injectors. It's got a G250 turbo. It's pushing 230 horsepower and 650 newton meters of torque. Holy shit, mate. On the 35s. Will it spend 35s in the bedroom? Yes. <laughs> Will the drive line hold up? Probably not. <laughs> uh, any sort of 12 volt set up? You've got dual batteries here? Yeah, so that, I used to have a dog box on it, but obviously now we do hard wheel and I've taken that off. So all that battery in there houses, like all the rock lights I've got underneath, the UHF, the compressors all off the second battery. So all the cabs, all the cabs off the second battery, that battery there. And then this is just all engine bay and winch? Or yeah, the winch so, so your main battery is just start battery and winch battery, but we are going down the route to running two batteries for the winch. Yeah, so you're still off one. I'm off one at the moment. It yes. goes all right, doesn't it? Or yeah, it pulls it up enough. Yeah. But yeah, I just want a little bit more power, so I upgrade the cables to thicker cables and run it off the both batteries. And what front man in cool Ah, uh, Psycho Performance. Yep. Diff breathers? Yep. And is that gearbox as well? Yep, so front diff, rear diff, gearbox transfer. Uh, and then are these aftermarket fuel filters at all? Um, so your little black one is your main one. Yep. And the other one's your secondary fuel filter. Got a catch cam over here, just to protect the motor a bit more, help it out. Do these newer motors need a catch cam? Yes and no. It depends, obviously, with EGRs these days, yeah, you do, you should have one. Yeah, otherwise it blocks up. Yeah. And you get to clean it all the time. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. We'll, uh, we'll move on. So now that we're at the side of the car, uh, run us through the tyres first. So it's a 35 by 12.5 R17 on a DT1 Dirty Life. So what's that, Maxxis? Yeah, Maxxis Razor. Yep. yep. Uh, those Dirty Life rims, are they real bead lock? No, nah, so at the moment, the imitations had to have them as imitations for engineering purposes, but yep. I do have a set of treps on bead locks at home. Nice. And then suspension? So suspension in this, in the front end's a, so they're four inch coils with 10 and a half inch travel, adjustable um, Dobbins and shocks yep. in the front. In the front? Yeah. Yep. And then the rear, we've got a custom inversion bar running 12 inch 2.5 Kings remote res shocks. With a were you running through the tray with the shocks? No, nah, no, nah, because the tray's high enough, it sits underneath Just the tray. Just clears it. Yep. Who did the solid axle swap? Um, we mate at uh, Kinsella Customs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. New South Wales. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know where they are. They do the, yeah, they do a lot uh, of stuff. They do with, like flip radius flip, arms. Flip radius yep. arms, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yep. Um, they do all that kind of stuff. What radius arms are you running in this? So it's all, the whole front end's 80 series besides the coils. Yep. Coils are 79, they're just a little bit the smaller ones. smaller diameter to fit in these because these aren't meant to have a solid axle on the front. Yeah, and you don't have a lot of room. No, nah, no, not and at all. That'll make better packaging, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's nice and compact in there. Does it scrub at all on full lock? No, nah, not at all. Yep. So obviously when they do it, they push the diff, I think it's about 75 mil forward. Yep. So which clears the tyres, clears the body. So you've just got standard radius arms, would yep, you say? standard radius And with arm. the... Caster bushes? No, nah, just standard, um, standard bushes. Super Pro bushes, yep. But how does that caster angle work? Does it? No, nah, it's actually pretty good. Depending like, angle. It's not, it was set up, so we got the height that we wanted to, yep. set it up, and then we made the mount suit the radius arms and the Oh, so did you lower the mounts yeah, at the back? Yeah, 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 so like drop box. So yeah, it's a, it's a full custom um, cross member for the radius arms and the gearbox. Uh, what steps are these? Ah, uh, fat bars. Yep. They're just fat bar steps, but we are... They're here in the sunny coast, aren't they? Fat yes. Yep. Yeah, so we're going to go and pay them a visit and we're going to put some um, rock sliders on it, put a bit more angle on it. And you're going to run a bar up to the... At this stage, no, we're not. I don't... I haven't had any damage to it yet, so... And I like the clean look of just a bull bar and steps. All right, we'll uh, head around to the back. So, 
Did you build this right? Yeah, so we, me and my brother built this in the shed when obviously Victoria got locked down with COVID and that. So we couldn't really do much, so we spent most of our time in the shed, built this tray to suit this canopy. So it's a lot narrower and we, I think we cut about 200 mil off the back to shorten the tray, yep. better departure angle. Might as well open up your canopy setup. Run us through what's in there. So yeah, we've, we did this to, we intentionally built this to, to Australia. But as again, COVID destroyed that for us. So here we've got an 85 litre upright Bushman's fridge. We've got manager 30, 2000 watt red arc converter, 150 amp hour lithium battery, and some lights. And that's some speakers in there. That's about it. How do you rate the, the upright? Yeah, awesome. I love it. I wouldn't go back to a normal fridge. Do your, do your trays fall out? Like, do they slide forward and everything <laughs> yeah. fall around the back? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> That's the only issue with these. But look, I once haven't, I've had it. It's been in here for about two years now and it's ran 24 7, doesn't turn off. Yeah. And it's always running, so I can't fault it. How do you find the latch? It's a bit cheap. Yeah, it could be a bit better design, but <laughs> look, it is what it is. <laughs> we'll have to get a not stock sticker on there now, mate. Yeah, for sure. There's yeah. plenty of room there. <laughs> we'll just go right in the middle. Right there? Yeah, right there. Sounds good. All right, we'll move around to the the rest of the tray. I see you've got a rhino rack on the top. Yep, so it's just a 1200 by 1400, I think it is. Yep. Just a flat rack that we bolted through the roof of the canopy. How, just, do, you, how do you rate those rhino racks? Everyone's <laughs> got their opinions, mate, I don't. I load that up, it doesn't really bother me. Yep. Because it's through the supporting of the um, canopy, so it's not ever gonna pull out. So, and it's got four mounts either side with three bolts in each mount, so it's not going anywhere. And then 270 degree awning? Yeah, so it's, that's only new thing. So it's a Bush Company 270 Max awning. Yep. So it wraps around the front of the, to the bull bar and wraps all the way around the back. Oh, so it goes? It goes right around, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, just obviously, your sleeping quarters? Yeah, so we just go the old trusty swag in the pack. <laughs> it's uh, some diesel, because it's uh, pretty fuel hungry. Yep. Um, 20 litres of water, spare tyre, and just a solar panel on the roof. And that keeps that little solar panel up there, that does the job for everything? It's not enough, but it keeps it enough to keep us going. I suppose you'd be wheeling all the time. Yeah, it's always driving every day, so it's not really parked up for more than two days. Yeah, all right, I guess that's it. All right, <coughs> so you got grab handles? Yeah, so you got custom grab handles, as you probably see with the sticker, yep. oranges goes with this car. Uh, pretty standard Hilux interior, you just got a few switches. Yeah, you got a few there. switches, so I've got the rock lights. Yep. When we do, we do a bit of night wheeling, so it's essential at night, especially for the spotters out the front. Got the compressor, which is under the seat. ARB air ARB, uh, front air locker, only one. Yep. Twin ARB compressor on the seat. Um, we, oh, I used to have winch in with the cabs. But I haven't hooked them up with the new winch because it's a whole new front end on it. So still got to do that. Couple switches over here for lights that haven't been in yet. Got the XRS 330 unit. How do you find the XRS? Everyone yeah, seems it. to have them. Yeah, I love it. I wouldn't wouldn't change. You wouldn't, sure. you wouldn't go to uh, Uniden? Nah, no. Nah. We, um, <laughs> we made up here, had lost all power to his. The unit shut down. Don't know what happened. That was uni then, so. We just brought one from Autobahn, a um, XRS330 unit for him, and he hasn't had a problem yet. And then that stereo, has that got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay? Um, no, I think so, yes. Yep. But it's an EC off-road um, head unit that we run in a raffle, so put it in and it works well. It's got HEMA maps in, built into it, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So you got all the tracks here and everything yeah, so we, to Yeah, so we, before we go out, we'll go outside, download the maps in the unit, that the area we're in, and then we just use that as our navigation. Yeah, nice. And then, is that a throttle controller? Yeah, before I got it tuned, I had a throttle controller in there just to help it a little bit, but since I got it tuned, I haven't, um, hasn't been it. plugged it back in. So I don't I don't need it, so it's really just sitting there for looks. <laughs> yep. uh, I got a couple gauges over here. It's got Boost EGTs, and I got battery one and two, just yep. to keep an eye on everything. Do the EGTs get hot in this thing? About 350, 375, sitting on 110. Oh, that's, so, that's what you're after. Yeah, so it's not 
Not too bad at all. How many kilometres on this motor? Ah, uh, this motor's got <laughs> 194. <laughs> How many did the last one have? 219. So I only put a second hand one in at the moment, but it's been tuned for nearly two years now and it's going to get tuned on Tuesday, so. Another tune? Yeah, get a bit more power out of it. Yep. That might be when you go to the third engine. Yeah, third engine will be a little bit more uh, spicy than this one. <laughs> All right. All right, thanks for letting us have a look at your Hilux, mate. No, pleasure to show you and show your subscribers uh, this shoot. Yeah, hopefully they all unsubscribe now. Oh, well, let's hope so. Because I've been telling them to <laughs> not subscribe anymore. Thanks for watching, guys. You know the deal. See you later. All right, so here we are at the uh, segment again where we compare other four-wheel drives to mine. And uh, we're going to bring, whenever he's ready, we're going to bring Copes in to do the flex test. Just gotta zoom in more on his face. Nah, don't do that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs>